brand new rear differential. could be bad luck. Maybe our setup and what we do with it. I mean, when there's an issue or a failure and that it doesn't work that way, that it isn't reliable anymore, we need to go for better. If the part can't handle what we do with it, we need to upgrade. We have front and rear differentials from Ashcraft and we have them on for almost four years now. Front diff goes well for the moment, no share on that side, but the rear one, not this one, the one that is on the car, did fail one year ago. We had this like super nice surprise to see broken screws stuck to the drain plug. Why did this happen to us? That's a good question. And we cannot actually point out the real reason of why this happened to us, but maybe you can comment below and let us know what you think about a why, a possible why of this happening to us. Trying to understand why this occurred and how to avoid it in the future. Also choosing to test out another upgrade involves a lot of thinking and researching. It's really complicated to show you how brain boiling it is to find the best, to try to find the best solution. What we had worked, but in fact, not so good. We have our setup and do things in a certain way. Others do much more challenging things, but maybe not with the same setup as we have. We have certain upgrades that others might not have. I mean, we will never meet someone with the exact same vehicle and have the exact same failures or experiences to guide us in our choices. We have to gather all the possible information and apply it in the best way possible so that it suits our vehicle and what we do with it. We put our Defender through a lot between the heavy camper setup, loaded with everything we need, be it my husband's daily driver, also often driving long distances in short periods of time and going off-road. I mean, it's used properly in all kinds of way, but that's how it's supposed to be, right? Okay, so what happened when we had this nice surprise last year? We contacted Nigel from Excess 4x4 in the UK. He's a Land Rover differential specialist and he helped us to understand a bit better what could work for us and for our setup. First of all, we did repair the differential and replace all the bolts with new ones from Nigel. This was a temporary repair while deciding whether or not we should replace the rear differential. This is our way of thinking when there's a problem. This failure happened and there's absolutely no reason for it to not happen again, even though we have better bolts than before. We're not lighter. We're not going to use our Defender in a more cautious way. We just want a reliable and capable 4x4. With this reasoning, it's obvious that my husband decided <laughs> to go for better. He ordered this new differential from XS 4x4 and we really looking forward to have it on. What's different from our previous Ashcraft one? <laughs> In fact, they are quite similar. They both have diff pegging and ATB and Ashcraft parts. Excess 4x4 builds all differential using the best products and upgrades they can find. The easiest way to share is listing some of the upgrades they've integrated in ours. All bearing are genuine Timken, arguably the best you can get. Genuine Land Rover seals, not pattern. Heavy duty 10.9 grade bolts with, and again, the best washer you can get. The Nord locks, they are expensive, but there's a reason why. Genuine Land Rover drive flange, not a pattern unit. Italian Antonio Maserio crown wheel and pinion. Superb quality look at the polished rear surface. 
One of his pegged casing 27 millimeters on TIG welded in steel plate and M16 by 2, 12.9 grade special dog bolts and phosphor bronze pad, 12.9 grade HD carrier cap bolts with Nord locks and the massive strength increase over the adjuster ring pin with his CNC cut and folded tug welded carrier cap upgrades. And lastly, super flange pinion seal protector upgrade. Added to that upgraded rear differential from XS 4x4, we're also adding 300M half shafts. Should be all good now. Tell me what you think. I broke the table. Never mind. Wow. Didn't think I would be able to do it. I'm gonna leave it right here and not try to put it back in the box. Honestly, I didn't think it was that heavy. But I managed to put it on the table. I would certainly manage to put it back in the box, but I'm gonna leave it for my husband. Thank <laughs> you. 